What's up YouTube, my name's Kenneth. Today I'm gonna to talk about my app I've been working so hard on called Rubik's Cube for Android Wear. And it's now available for download from the Google Play Store. And I'm super excited, it's been licensed by the Rubik's brand and it's the official Rubik's Cube app for Android Wear. Now, if you don't have an Android Wear device like this one, don't worry. It'll also run on pretty much any Android phone or tablet. So if you can, click the link in the description and go download the app. If you like it, please leave a good rating because that helps out a ton. So let me show you guys how it works now first on the watch and then on the phone. So here's how the app works on an Android Wear device. If you have one, all you have to do is look at your watch and say, OK, Google, start Rubik's Cube. and it'll bring up the Rubik's Cube app. So to use the app, all you have to do is drag the layers and it turns the layers of the cube. And you can do center layers or outer layers and it works like this as you would expect. You could also turn the whole cube like a cube rotation by dragging from the center. So start from the center and drag from the center and you can do a whole cube rotation. And anyway, you can solve the Rubik's Cube like this and uh, it's kind of a challenge because you can only see one side at a time but it actually kind of makes it a little bit fun because you have to try to figure out ways to solve it just one side at a time and anyway uh, the app is a lot more than just this because you can tap the center and it'll bring up a menu and you can switch the 3x3 to a 2x2 and you can try it as a 2x2 and here you can see how it looks like on a 2x2 so one thing that's kind of fun that you can do on the watch but you can't do on the phone is you can touch speak a command and then tell it to do something. So let's try this. Scramble the cube for me. And it knows what to do. It scrambles. You can do other things like solve the cube, who made this app, and things like that. So anyway, what you can do is you can do cube rotations by dragging the center and the timer won't begin until you're ready to go and you make your first move. So once you kind of have a game plan, and I do now, I'm going to start doing the orange side first, and you can start uh, turning the cube like this, and now the timer has begun, and um, as soon as I'm done solving, the timer will stop. So let's see how good I do. And Not bad. So this is a new record. I solved it in 13 seconds and it says in 24 moves that's 1.8 moves per second I my best time actually on the watch is four seconds but uh, since then I've had to uninstall the app reinstall the app as I was developing it so I wish I would have uh, taken a screenshot of that but anyway you can see here's the scramble that was used to scramble the cube and then here's the solution I came up with to solve the cube and uh, anyway every high score has that so you can look at your high scores by just moving across the menu to your high scores and here's the list of the high scores and you can tap on one and it will show you the rank, the solve time, how many moves, the date, the scramble and the solution and it will give you separate ones for 3x3 three three if you switch to a 3x3 three three, and then you go back now everything here is a 3x3, three three, the scramble is a 3x3, three three, solve is a 3x3 three three, and now your high scores are a 3x3 three so anyway, that's how the app works. There's an about, you can see about the Rubik's brand, about, uh, and then about um, me. So anyway, that's how the app works. Now I'm gonna show you guys how it works on the phone. So here's the app on a phone and you can see what the icon looks like and you can open the app and the app looks pretty much the exact same as it does on the phone, as it does on the watch. It's kind of like a simulator. The only real difference is you have two buttons at the top uh, and this button here can kind of toggle the watch face or the type of watch you're using and this one looks a lot like the uh, what is it the LG G watch and this one looks like the Samsung Gear Live watch and hopefully I'll add some more like the Moto 360 which is a circular watch and uh, some other ones so anyway uh, that's kind of fun and then we have an info button up here and this is kind of the about button it tells about the Rubik's brand tells about how to use the app how the app works on the watch and then a little bit about me so uh, the app works pretty much the same way. It works as you'd expect. You can drag the center to do cube rotations and you can drag the outer sides to uh, turn the cube. So in the menu you have a lot of the same stuff. You can switch it to a 3x3 three three, which, will, which will be a 99 cents upgrade and then you can scramble the cube, solve the cube. Uh, you can see a list of your solves and you can tap on a solve the exact same way. Uh, the only difference is here is now that you're on a watch, you can share your time here. And if you share your time, you can like tweet your, your fastest time. So you can go to Twitter and tweet it. And then if you want, you can um, also go to the leaderboards 
and you can uh, look at the global leaderboards. And I really encourage you guys to uh, set up the leaderboards because they're really cool. Here's how they work. You can tap on one like 2x2 two two best time. And uh, I'm set right now for today's leaderboard. And so it's really 12.53, so the, today's leaderboard is only an hour in. So let me set it to uh, all time. And you can see everyone who's used the app and the fastest time ever with the app solving a 2x2 two two is 2.28 seconds, which is pretty quick. You can see I'm ranked third. So you can switch it to a week, and let's see how I, how I rank for a week. Uh, for this last week, I did a seven second solve, so I'm ranked second. Uh, and what's really kind of fun is that uh, I'm ranked second here for uh, the fastest two by two, but if we go back and we look at the fewest moves and we look for this week, uh, I guess I'm also ranked second. Um, and so it doesn't necessarily mean one or the other. So uh, anyway, I think that's kind of fun. Um, we also have achievements. Achievements are fun because when you go to the achievements, you can see uh, kind of achievements you've unlocked and ones you haven't unlocked, and you can kind of earn points and XP points. Uh, so anyway, that's exciting. Um, you can do, there's achievements for solving a two by two under a minute, uh, you know, under 20 seconds. And the faster you get, the more uh, achievements you can earn. And then also the more you solve the cube, the more achievements you've earned. So uh, there were some achievements for like uh, average of 50. I solved 50 two by twos. And so I've unlocked this one. Um, there's other ones that are much easier. Like uh, you solved your first two by two, you'll get an achievement for that. Uh, and you get ones for five uh, two by twos. If you do, uh, you know, over one move a second, you get a fast fingers achievement. If you do over two moves a second, you get lightning fingers. And so anyway, achievements are a fun way to kind of like uh, try to get better and see how you do. And then there's one more option that's not available here because I've already done it. And there's an option to remove the ads. So that'll be a 99 cents upgrade as well. And you can also remove the ads. So anyway, that's pretty much the app. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Definitely, if you can, download it uh, and, and also leave a rating. Um, it really helps out to leave ratings. So if you, if you like the app, definitely write a review. That helps out a lot too. Um, and that's it. So anyway, I'm super excited about the app. I want to thank the Rubik's brand for uh, working with me to get this app licensed. And I'm super excited. It's the Rubik's brand app. So anyway, I'm stoked. I'm so happy. I hope you guys like this app. Thanks guys for watching. And of course, have a great day. I realized there was two things I wanted to say first. I really wanted to thank the guys that helped beta test the app. Without them, this app wouldn't be nearly as good as it is now. So thanks to everyone who beta tested it. And the other thing I wanted to say is I know a lot of you guys have iPhones and they just announced a new iWatch. And so uh, I might have to make this for the uh, iOS, for iOS as well. But we'll have to see because I'm much stronger at Android than iOS. So we'll see. All right, guys. Thanks and have a great day.